Salam Alaikum. Shalom. Peace. Hotel. Good morning to everyone. I just went live about 20 minutes ago due to some technical errors. We didn't go forward, so I'm going to redo it. I started off again. I'm Lord Supreme. I own Downside Productions LLC. I've had a record label for like 20 something years. And right now, believe it or not, I'm currently at work. I got a job too. I work in BMW over here in Greer. I've been here about two years now. It's been a different experience of learning something. You know, been in the military for this. Uh, build car, you know how to build cars and parts and stuff like that. I learned how to uh, do a lot of stuff. And this has been a new experience for me overall. iPhone had all. Uh... Sorry about that. I work in a plant, the BMW factory. And it's really hot in here. It's running about, it's running about 100, 100 degrees or maybe about 105 right now. My iPhone said uh, it was running hot, so I had to cool it off for a moment. That's what you saw in front of the fan. I know. Wow, right? And that's what I was saying. Today's topic is the music anatomy. Again, I am Lord Supreme. I own Downside Production LLC. I've had it for about 20 years. I've been in the music industry for a very long time. Man. And a partner of mine called me from Atlanta yesterday, asked me to come out of retirement and get on three songs of his. I've been uh, thinking about it, so I want to ask y'all, I want to ask y'all opinion. What do you think I should do? Come out of retirement, get on these songs, or send another artist? So speaking of, speaking of artists, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, Downside Production, LLC Rock. Three Two E's, Carolina Bread, Cole Marie. Well, actually, she's with CSE Music, but I uh, kind of like her booking agent. Um, Tank Low. And we always out to discover new artists. And I believe in supporting the people, especially the young people, because they have the vision. And it's imperative that we give them something to do. Music can be an outlet to uh, communicate to the world. Music is timeless. But every song you hear, it's old. But you think it's a new song. There's always a, a thought of somebody or a concept of somebody here. Thought is the past part of typical thing. So, music are just ideas coagulated and brought forth with digital sound or phonographic sound or tape sound. So, as I was saying earlier, Today's subject is music anatomy. And I really can't be too loud because like I say I'm at work. I am a team lead at BMW. See? So, Chris. That's who I work for. I'm a contract man here. And um, it's been an experience. Yes. It's been an experience. So back to the music. Before we get into the music, let's talk about an upcoming event that I'm promoting now, currently, under Down South Production LLC. We are Tony Mercedes Entertainment, a long-time partner of mine. He had an idea about a summer jam. So he's like, you ever heard of that girl, Lele? I'm like, yeah, I heard of her. He's like, man, I'm going to do some shows with him. I said, let's get it. So he's out of California. We have my company, Downside Production LLC, to promote the concert. Whereas the concert is happening in Columbia, South Carolina, August the 6th, at the Township Auditorium, from 6 to 9 p.m., that girl, Lele, the Wicker, the Wicker Twins, KD the Kid, Kylie Marshall, and Zaza. It's been a good, it's been a good response so far, or thus far. I'm really excited because this is the first time they ever promoted a young, a young roster 
of artists for concert. I mean, I've promoted the Wu-Tangs, the Big and Smalls, the Nas. I mean, when Big and Smalls stopped charging thousand dollars, and Puffy was the open act for a concert without promoting. And now that man done that big now. So you see how far back I go in the industry. I have a long history in the industry, a very long history. I know a lot of the bigger artists. J.C. Munns, The Dreams, Laverde G's, The Mary J. Blige's. Been around a lot of them. Known a lot of them for a long time. My partner, Shaw Kim, one of the help, help, oh, founding members of the Murder Inks. There's a lot of behind the scenes things that she don't know about the music industry that goes on. You'd be very surprised. So let's talk about the music industry anatomy for a moment. Artists. Don't ever sign a 360 deal. This will be the worst kind of deal you can sign, period. Because the label is going to make everything off you, and you're going to make a very small amount of money. Moreover, establish your publishing company. That's the first thing, because you want to control the royalties. You want to be a writer and a publisher. Do both. ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, and the digital side is tuned for. Yeah, recently United Masters came on too. United Masters said. So. You want to get one of those publishing houses called a PRO, Performance Rights Organization. It's called a PRO or PRO, Performance Rights Organization. You want to join one of those because it's very, very important important that you collect your royalties overseas, film, studio, internet, satellite. You got your paperwork right, you're going to make a lot of money. It doesn't cost a lot. I remember, I remember, I remember when I put out my first song, You Make Them Walk, in the video. It was over $450,000 for one song in the video. We're making a walk, probably four hundred fifty thousand dollars. And on that song, it was myself, Lord Supreme, Mr. Crush, Cape Con, Doc Wu, Shay Shay from This and That, and Bam B Rock AG produced the beat. That one song cost me over four hundred fifty thousand dollars. I had the uh, the Real World, the first reality TV show to come out. That was the one who shot the video. Right, right down here, Lake Monticello. Columbia South, Columbia, South Carolina. And that was an experience. Of course, I went on to do a lot of other things behind that. Performing the BT Billboard Award in 2001. A few other things, too. But, like I said, I've been in the industry for a long time. And a partner of mine is trying to get me to come out of retirement right now to make some songs with him. I'm thinking about it. So I want y'all opinion on that. Should I come out of retirement or stay? He had me so excited yesterday, I actually started writing something to the song. But back to the music anatomy. Today, for four hundred fifty thousand dollars, you can put out about ten albums, minus the features. Buying a beat, you spend up with three hundred thousand dollars buying a beat. Now you get over three hundred dollars. With all these digital platforms, you can do so much. These iPhones, or some other phones too. Depends on what's the strength of your phone. You can make movies, videos. Cinematographer, cinematography. So that you can do. And it's incumbent upon me to share this wealth of knowledge or plethora of knowledge with you. Because the music industry has changed and become so diverse. The uh, northern states controlled it for a long time. Now it's about the southern states, especially our beats. Beats drive the song. I'm not saying nothing against anybody or anything like that, but Beats drive the song. And the Southern Beats are ruling right now. And, um, I strongly suggest that you learn about the industry before you delve into it. I see a lot of these artists are left with nothing but hunger and nakedness after the label has finished with them. Come down South Dutch and you don't have that problem. I require you to get your own publishing company. I require you to get your own writers. That way you're going to make some money. If I put the money up, of course I'm going to make some money out of it. 
However, if you put your own money up, bring your songs to me, I'm gonna promote it and put you out there. Turn you on to the right people. Put you in the right places. That's what the music industry should have been about. And watch the movies like Cadillac Records, Edda James, Hustle and Flow. A lot of other movies that there's a good uh, a TLC documentary about how the artists uh, didn't make any money and they suing the Little Wayne's and Babies, the DJ Khaled and Babies. You can't be mad at a label if you don't know if you don't know the business, that's your fault. They say our people should pass for a lack of knowledge. And the lack of knowledge is what all time hurts all of us. So get you an entertainment lawyer. I don't think you know it all. Get you an entertainment lawyer and learn. That way, you can uh, have a great experience and a good experience being an artist. Because artists back in the day might have got twenty thousand dollars for a show. Man, I see artists getting as high as rap artists getting as high as three, three to five hundred thousand dollars for a show. That's unheard of. You might have four people in your group kind of split $20,000 with a manager, a road manager. You're getting whatever you can get out of there. Now you can, you can really eat in the industry. Because these digital platforms take it around the world so fast. That's my light speed. The light travels at 186,000 feet per second. You're talking about light speed. The internet is so fast. And it's such great talent out here because music or the lyrics or the song operates in the time and day that we are in. We are, I want to say post-pandemic, however the pandemic is still going on. So I'm going to say pandemic time or pandemic, pandemic era. This COVID has changed the world as we know it. And along with other diseases, the COVID seems like it has been the worst of all. And I'm saddened to say how I can see here artists and other people in the world have arguments and beefing with each other about what? COVID is killing you in seven days, sometimes even faster. So why do we have time to even beef? And that's what I want to talk about today with the music and that Music can bring us together. And we can span continents through music and airways really fast. And to see my young people go at each other so hard, even older ones go at each other so hard, then possibly losing their lives, um, it breaks my heart. I'm a Muslim. And Should never be the aggressor, that's the way I want to say it. And when I see each other, people threatening each other on the music, we don't even know each other. What are you angry about? We can do so much. I, I prefer we should come together and work together as a people. We control 1.6 trillion dollars annually. If we were just to spend our money together, we're larger than a small nation. We'd be 16 in the world. That's what I'm talking about. The things that we can do and accomplish. And this is what Down South Production is. We're a music consortium of like-minded people that wants to help you. Promoting concerts, I promoted some of the biggest concerts that has come to Columbus, South Carolina. And I'm not trying to no horn or nothing. I'm just speaking a fact. And I was introduced to the music industry a long time ago, I was in a temporary, we did on possibly on Broadway. We had new theater that built at W.J. King High School. We performed that song. That was my first time ever being on there. And they got on TV, breakdance, and all kinds of stuff like that. And now, I see these young artists that have such a great opportunity to die so young. You know, um, what happened to the parents? What happened to the uh, moral fabric of the community? It's frayed. You have to rebuild this. You have to reach out and become those uncles, fathers, brothers, sisters, mothers, whatever we were or are, 
in these young people's lives. We need to strive to give them a better example. And through Downside Production, I'm striving to reconnect the younger people with the community again, or the community with the younger people. It's still a process. But how can you expect people to change if you don't have something to offer them? And that's what's very important. Thriller Man TV, everywhere I go is Thriller Man TV. Thriller Man TV. I haven't been Thriller Man Kitchen in a while, so I like to cook too. And food brings people together. And music is a big pile of gumbo. It's a mixture of ideas, beats, sounds, technology, engineers, or coagulation of ideas. And this is what we can do. We can tap into the human capital that we possess to bring forth a greater understanding or a comprehensive understanding and make our own destiny. We shouldn't allow our circumstances to dictate our station in life. And then, my own boss for so many years has shown and taught me a lot. I've been in the military. And I never thought I could get on TV with music until I actually had a fan. A fan wrote me a letter back in the day. That was, I still got a letter to the very day. I think the fan was from Utah, if I'm not mistaken. And that showed me something different. We have innate talents that we don't exercise. And we all have a talent. We just have to tap into it. Every last one of us got a talent. It's in there. I know what's in there. Tap into yourself. Tap into the human capital. I'll do one more plug again. August the 6th, 2022, at the Township Auditorium, that girl Lele, the Wicker Twins, Katie the Kid, Kylie Marshall, and Zaza are going to be performing, and they're going to bring the roof down. I'm so proud to be a part of this concert because, say again, this is my first young concert that I'm promoting and now. It has given me a different understanding of the industry. We'll be talking to a different crowd, a different fan base. Believe it or not, there's more adults out here talking about going to come to the concert than young people. And that's, a, that's amazing that these young people can touch so many lives through their music. This is great. Share the live, y'all. Share the live. Share it with everybody. we be on Music and Avenue 101. The music business, the industry. Times and how it has changed. I remember when Dream, we were just beginning, but the Dream, but uh, to where he at now, wow, it's amazing. 20 years later, it's amazing to see that brother on top. I know a lot of us, too, a whole bunch of them. It's not named, I don't even name him in particular, I know a whole bunch of them that have actually been around and watched them grow. If there are any questions you want to put for, feel free. I'm listening. I'm open for them. Here. Again, I'm Lord Supreme, a.k.a. Big Thrill, a.k.a. Christopher, or Chris, from Greenview, Columbia, South Carolina. Born and grew up in 555. It's real live over there. I come from the hood. Sweet through and through. So I know it's both sides, but it's a black suburb too at the same time. Some powerful people come out my hood, but it's still the hood. And, uh, been on earth for a while. Learned a lot. Seen a lot. Tonight I'm going to a party. My cousin crib. Vernon. He's having a birthday party for his wife. Coco. It's gonna be all the way live. We're gonna be jamming. You know, and then tomorrow I'll be back on my promotion tip. We've been scouring the state. A couple of these concerts up. We sold a good, we sold a good, man, uh, good bit of tickets so far. Hope we can sell some more. Come out and support these young people, y'all. Lele, the Wicked Twins, Katie the Kid, Zaza, Kylie Marshall, 
back to school summer jam. And uh, these children are all the way live. I'm so proud of them. I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. But they found a purpose early in life. Not saying you haven't found your purpose or we won't ever find our purposes. But God has tapped their soul to communicate to the people. Again, music is time. I'm excited. And this TikTok thing, when I first got on, I was like, man, I'm not doing any TikTok. I'm not going live. But now, I go live. I do TikTok. I get a little following. I get a lot of views. And it was something. I'm not, I'm not camera shy at all. Never that. It's just that I just been embracing it in the beginning. But this is the new wave. And that's what I see people releasing their music videos on TikTok. And they got millions of followers. It's an excellent plan. If we don't learn how to find new media, new markets, new strategies or stratagems, my people should pass for lack of knowledge. That's why everybody else is making so much money off of us. Instead of us making money off of us. Go for it. Don't be scared. Go for it. Because you, you got it in you. Deep, deep. Pull it out. I think these effects are cool. <laughs> so, you know, share this live. Share it. Because I welcome the questions. I'm pretty sure we can find the answer. If we haven't got an answer for you yet, for the show we can find it. Thriller Man TV. Salam alaikum. This morning we're on Thriller Man TV. We're doing a uh, music anatomy this morning. I don't want down south to touch LSC. I'm Lord Supreme. Welcome. Anything you want to know about the industry, you can ask me. I can teach you. Guarantee you. I've been in the industry for a lot of years. I've been plugging the concert that's coming up, uh, That Girl Lately, the concert auditorium in Columbia, South Carolina, August 6th. I see your young brother on the wall back there smiling. Peace, young brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see you. I see you. Where you at? I'm in Oklahoma. Well, that's what I'm talking about, Oklahoma. Tell me about yes, Oklahoma. Sir. Say it again? Say, tell me about Oklahoma. Man, this is... It, it, it. It's a cool, chill place, man. Um, right now, of course, you know, it's, it's hot and all out, get right, but, man, cool place, so cool place. About. I want to come to Oklahoma. Last time I've been out there in the Midwest was uh, Fort Carson, Colorado, when I was in the military. That's like ETS out, end time service over there. Yeah. Uh, I want to come to Oklahoma sometime. I heard y'all got a lot of tornadoes over there, though. Man, Tornado Alley is what they call it. Oh, wow, wow. Yep. Been yeah. South Carolina? No, I hadn't. You've been South Carolina before? Hey man, let me tell you something. No, no. It's the number one retirement Columbus, no, not Columbus, South Carolina, South Carolina. It's the number one retirement state in America. Everybody thinks Florida is it. No, sir. South Carolina. Number one retirement South state Carolina. in America. Yes, sir. We're on the East Coast. We don't have, well, we have little earthquakes over here. We don't have too many flood, but we do get floods. We don't have a lot of fire, but we do have fire. It's not like over in the Midwest or the West. But Coming over here, yeah. man, I think you have a good time. Come visit us. I mean, I want to come to Oklahoma someday. And check it out. Yeah, right, most, de most definitely. It's, 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 a, it's a super cool place. Like, man, um, I mean, it's not too fast paced, you know, but not, it, a lot of people see it as being country. It's not just super, super country. Well, you let me know. tell you something, boy. I'm country. I'm from the country. Yeah. I love the country. I ride four wheeler, mud all the trucks, the whole. Nine yards. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, now, now there's places like down here for you know for that, but say it again. No, I'm letting you speak first. Oh uh, no, I was just saying you got places, you got places that that's country like that down here, but but other than that, I mean, you know. It, and, and when I say not too country, just not super, super slow, but, you know. 
Well, there ain't, it's, nothing, it's nothing wrong with slow because I'm telling you about slow. The race into the swim is the one who endures. So it's not, it's not about yeah. being fast, it's the one who endures. So you want, if you want to endure, you can make residual living or residual income, you're going to live for a long versus the fast life. Fast life makes the whole age pass. If you got back on most music, you know, all downtown productions are music sort of them or like minded people. I'm Lord Supreme, I actually own downtown production. I'm talking to the owner himself. Okay, I've had this company for like 20 years. I'm a producer, former artist, you know a lot of big artists, a lot of artists get on all kinds of stuff. I think uh, we might we might go to Oklahoma. Yeah, go on uh go on down south LLC on YouTube or Rock. You just sell out to do what you doing. Like give opportunities to people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the thing they were going to put the And by coming in the wrong they get mixed up in what's happening. And that's when that fast pace might happen. That's how it's going to be. That's the thing we work. So, you know, like right now, I'm at work. I have a job. I work at BMW plant. I watch the cars get up. I don't want to go. No, don't make it. Yeah, I watch you build the ground up. I come here every day, six days a week. Promote shows, put artists out. That's actually. I think I was telling, telling uh, the viewers earlier that this guy trying to get me to come out of retirement and make three songs with him. So I'm just trying to take, I should put a poll on here. Ask everybody what you think I should do. What you think I should do? Go make the music or let somebody else do it? Sure. Man, it, it, I mean, if you can. It, it, it just depends out, you know, where where you at with it, you know what I mean? I mean, if your heart is in producing it, then you let them make it. But if it's in if it's in you making the music, you know what I mean? Then it, it's just all about what's best for you. What makes you happy? across the board, Playboy. Music makes me happy. Yeah. Music, anything music industry makes me happy. Anything, I, I just love music. That's been yeah. my passion. I used to be in a marching band when I was in high school and middle school and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Do all that stuff. I mean, I ain't, I ain't shame up yet. It is what it is. Music is my thing. I love music. Everything about music I love. It has changed a lot over the years and there's a lot going on with it. Yeah, most definitely. And, um, I've, I've been watching the, the trends and the, uh, how it has uh, advanced and, mor and morphed some. So, you know, it is yeah. what it is. But I said my partner, he's like, man, come on, man, I need you on these songs. They kept me on the phone for about an hour yesterday. Man, just listen to it, just listen to it. You can come out and land for me this weekend. So I got I got this big party coming up this weekend. Next weekend, I got a concert. Get the concert auditorium with that girl Lele, so I can't get free right now. I'm constantly busy, constantly busy. Yeah. He's like, man, I really, need, I really need you on these songs for me. So I'm like, man, I'm retired. He's like, come out of retirement, man, come out of retirement. Yeah. So I'm, think, I'm thinking about it, so I'm going to take a poll from the people. Whoever listening and watching, tell me what y'all think I should do. Uh, you gave me a good answer. It's in, it is in my heart. It's in my heart all day. Did it move you when, when, when you heard it? Did it how, how did it move you? Oh, man, you got one of them songs so bad, too. Now I spit a verse for him right there on the spot. Enough said, Right there on the spot. He was like, man, that's what I need. He like, you didn't write that down. I don't need to write it down. It's in my head. I've been doing it 20-something years, man. It's in my head. I don't got to write it down. So, so that that's enough said. If it moved you, then shh. yeah. What's the hold up? Well, other than I understand you're busy, you know what I mean. But that's shoot. my that's my only hold up. I'm super busy. I never yeah. have time. I never, I never really have time. And my little daughter was just in a bad accident when she got thrown ejected out the window. Went on window of a car. Sorry to hear that. Out. Now she good. Now she had to get a surgery. And she's back. My little my little 19 year old daughter. She's so strong. Man, she inspired me. Man, she inspired man. me. And it's like uh. If you go on my TikTok, well, if you go on my TikTok now, you just, you'll see the you see the video of a car. 
Oh, uh, she inspires me. I mean, not not saying not but not negating the rest of my daughter. They all inspire me. But nah, I'm just saying this particular. She she had a surgery, major surgery. Have, actually happened Tuesday. She had a major surgery Wednesday, and she walked. She up walking Thursday. Man, strong, a fighter. Yeah, yeah, sounds like, fighter, you, so, know. you know. It's like they call me, man. You can come to Columbia now. I'm an hour and forty-five minutes away from Columbia. I got there in what fifty-nine minutes. Man, supposed to though, <laughs> you know. So I get it. So you know, uh, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of moving parts, and um, I'm just thankful, Lord, to the mercy bless me with a gift and whenever you have a gift within inside of you don't stifle it you see somebody around you that look like they had a gift like I, I listened to the song the other day right about this dude named hb hip-hop he said i i'm a killer and a robber man that joke that joke they're gonna make the song now the conscience of the song is kind of rough but that young man gonna make a lot of money Mark yeah, my words. I, I, that I, young man, they're gonna make a lot of money, man. Man, I I, um, I I went on YouTube and, and, and was listening to that as well, man. And yeah, it's. Oh, you you know the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song gonna make a lot. That, that young man, they gonna make, because he tapped into a hidden talent that was in. He just on a drum, on, on a dresser, beat on the dresser, and that song is so freaking tight. I made a little tic, not a TikTok, but I made a reel out of it. I had to make a real out of it myself. Yeah. <laughs> that, hey man, that, that young man, they're going to make a lot of money. Man, most definitely. That and and I, man. you know, like 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 you say, music is changing, of course. When, when I guess I guess it was kind of the same when I was coming up. But but with all this drill music and stuff now, like I, I really just don't really get into it. But, but like you say, when that music moves, like you hear something and you know something. Like, like oh yeah, that's that right there is a hit. We're gonna do it. We like Rod yeah. Wade. When Rod Wade yeah. came out. Everybody, man, that man trying to sing. Nah, that young man is he's on top right now. Man. Rod Wade is Rod Wade's another one. There's another one. When I first heard him, I said, yeah, young man gonna do good. Two years later, he, he on top. He's doing good. Man. He's Making doing it real happen. Good. Yeah. So you know. Welcome to Thriller Man TV. Welcome to Down South Production LLC. Music Anatomy one on one. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start doing these every Saturday. I think I'm gonna start yeah. doing these every Saturday. Just talk about museum training, fill some questions, and you know, give some answers to everybody because people need it. I see a lot. I see a lot of artists coming in the industry and they're getting raped. And it's not their. It's not their fault because I'm not calling no one ignorant, but ignorance can cost you a lot. So I, I suggest that we do our homework before we get in the industry. And when you're young, that's different. You probably won't have, have a comprehensive understanding of how to do it. But when you're older doing it, I suggest that they learn something first. Because yeah. that's seen a lot of people. I mean, I watched my record label tear me apart. I, I was distributed by Warner Electric Atlanta back in the day. People kept all my money. So I learned something. I learned something. Don't get nobody else your money. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't do that no more. <laughs> do it yourself. So I went to bought me some equipment, got my own publishing, writers, became an associate producer of the TV show Urban Music Report back in the day, I learned something. And that was, that was very important to, or coming upon making my own money. And now today, I'm not beholden to no one. Just do what I want to do. And, and, and with today and, and the way social media is and everything now, man, they make it real easy for you to be for you to move what it you yourself. Say. That's it. You don't need, record labels are dead. If somebody tell you you need to go to, okay, let's say it like this right here. You need the label because you can't get in all the stores. That's the purpose of the record label right there. You cannot get in all the stores on your own. Yeah. Other than that, you don't need a record label for nothing. And make sure yeah. you get an entertainment lawyer to do it. These record labels, like I said, it's not, it's, not your, it's not their fault that they're taking your money. It's your fault because you don't have the knowledge. Exactly. It's your fault, but other than that, like going to the titles and all these things like here, they're like the Disco Kids, United Masters, Tomb Corps, those are your avenues right there to get in. Yeah. To get in right now. And uh, 
TikTok. TikTok just started a new thing. You can distribute straight, you can distribute your music straight through TikTok now. So you got the oh, label yeah. right here. Oh, okay. You got, but you got to yeah. make some. You got to get so many uh, followers first. Then they give you the creator. Uh, they give you the um, creator tools. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then on Facebook, you get professional mode. Instagram professional mode. And once you go in professional mode, they're gonna change your whole dynamic of what you're doing then. Yeah. So once you know you get sponsors, branded content. That's why everybody doing so much of this social media. That's why Elon Musk kind of buy TikTok right now. But see, yeah. that, that gonna stifle the people. You know, when people can make money, I prefer you, that, that those industry owners, they prefer you to come work for them. They don't want you to be the ultimate consumer. They don't want you want you to be the ultimate owner. They want you to be the ultimate consumer. So yeah. long as you consume it, they happy. But when you own it, they're not happy. So if you, if you allow them other people to buy TikTok and all the other social media platforms, that's gonna knock out, that's gonna put the middleman back in. Yeah. See, they, 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 want, they, they want to put the middleman back in. The middleman is what caused half of the problem that we got it economically. See, right now, it's financial violence been perpetrated upon us. Gas is out the roof. Food is out the roof. A lot of people are hungry, 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 and naked and outdoors right now because they don't have, they can't support themselves. Yeah. They can't support themselves. So, And that's for those giant companies that's making astronomical profits while the little man is paying the highest taxes. And they get, the they get, they get all these loopholes. They don't even have to pay taxes. Yeah. So you know that's why I say this is what downside production is about. LLC, making knowledge known. If you don't that's know the to of today's devil after society, you fall into the pit of hell, which is iniquity. Hell is not a place. Hell is the lifestyle you live. Right here, hell ain't in no ground. Hell right here on earth. We walk in hell yeah. every single day. That's definitely. This is this is why we got to learn something man and the average person only has a 500 word vocabulary and if you curse you're using less than that so i strongly encourage those to learn new words and collocate those words into your lexicon and learn how to use them in sentences therefore you better communicate effectively then not saying you can't communicate effectively but you'll be able to communicate better yeah if you can't speak the language of the people you can't you can't communicate can't yeah when i say the language of the people if you go into the business world and you're talking not even hood it's just talking not their language they're gonna say so much stuff around you're not gonna even understand you get fast talk that's the whole thing that's the whole thing young brother so you know spread the knowledge man it's gonna be a, a platform happening on saturdays I don't know what time I get on here, but I'm open for discussion. I'm pleased to meet you. What's your name again as a young brother? Codell. Codell, okay, Codell. I'm pleased to meet you, Codell. Like I gotta say I'm a Muslim, assalamu alaikum. That means peace be unto you. You know, I don't know what your religion is, you know, or persuasion, but it's not about religion. I'm just saying peace to you. I wish you peace. Yeah. That's all it is. I wish the whole world peace. I wish the world peace itself. Because it's in a terrible state right now. Watching young and old parents at the parade. And the fabric of the community is really afraid right now. And it needs healing. So I'm bringing my soul needle to the side on the help. I couldn't, I couldn't barely hear the end of it. That you was breaking up or something. Well, I said I'm bringing my sewing needle to this platform to help sew the one and point fabric of the communities to bring it back together. Because it's yeah. that that we work together. Very, very, very important. We want to all the other and buy everybody something we want to eat. Sad. I'll be a black, white, purple, whatever they call you do. We must support our community. Because the world is so diverse. And that's important. It's been fun. Downside Production LLC, Thriller Man TV. Again.